Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In previous session, we learned about overview of control room. In this session, we will learn what are the different sections in session management, and also we will learn how to work with sessions in session management. And finally, we'll see how to create a session manual. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce, go to Control tab, and under that, you will find session management. Session management is divided into three sections. One is available processes, available resources, and the environments. Let me explain one by one about these three sessions. Available processes. Available processes shows the list of processes which are ready to run. By default, processes are not visible in control room unless they have been published. This is for safety purpose, this feature has been enabled to prevent unfinished processes being run accidentally. Now I will show you how to publish a process. Go to Studio. Under Studio, you are having processes and objects, but in our control room, we are going to run the processes only, right? So that I'm going to Studio once again. So these are all the processes which are available to run, but available processes are empty. To publish that, select any process. Let I'm going for the test alert stays. Double click on that. If you see there's this information box, there's the box called process information. Right click on the process information and go to properties. Now you can see the process information. There are the conditions and the information, correct? Now you are having the checkbox over here. See, publish this process to control room. Due to this reason, we are unable to see the you know processes in the control room. Select that and then click on OK. You can see the tick mark over there in the green color shows this process has published and you can see the process in control room. Now go ahead and save the process. I'm saying it as published and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close the process studio. In the same way, I'm going to select one more thing, practice for calculation stays. I'm going for the information stays, right click on properties. Now I'm going to publish this to the process, process to the control room. Click on OK, and then I'm going to save it, and then save the changes. Go back to control room, and you can see the list of processes which are published, right? This is the way how we are going to get the you know, available processes when publishing. Now, available resources. A resource is nothing but a machine installed with Blue Prism known as resources. We can see the list of resources available in the network on which to run the process. Now, if you see, I'm having only one resource available on my available resource. This is nothing but my system. How can we know that one? Now, let me go to my computers and we can see the properties of my computer. You can see the name of the computer name. This is the name of the PC which I have been installed the Blue Prism. Ho mouse over on that one, you can see it has been, the state has been connected. And you can see the different, different capabilities. And you can see the available resources also over here. These are all the things that we can see in available resources. Now, we'll discuss about the environment. Environment shows the list of sessions which are assigned to a resource. Whenever a process has been assigned to the particular resource, a session will be created over here. I will show you how. Session maintain different states and each state having the name and color. If you see the state, I'm having running, pending, completed, terminated, stop. When I go for the running, it is the color has been mentioned as green. We'll see the session over here in the green, green color. Whereas pending, pending comes in orange color, which I can show the session over here if you see. The session is showing as pending, that's the reason it is in orange color. Completed, blue color. Terminated, black color. Stopped, it's in red color. So these are all about the different, different sessions that we're having in the session management. Now, we will discuss how to create a session manually. So if you see on my screen, I'm having the processes and the resources and the environment that the different different environments that what we are having. And also I will show you how to start and stop the session. So to create a session manually, select a process on the available process and drag it on the available resources. Automatically, you will get a pending status over here. Let me show you that. I'm going to select the test, pro test alert stage process and I'm going to drag onto my 
available resources. Now, if you see, the ID has been created over here. Let me drag this one. You can see the IDs over here, right? So which session ID has been created? Now, if you see, the, it is in pending state. The latest one is that this is the one which have been created, correct? Now, if you see, the status is in pending. Now, how can I start this session? So there are two ways that we can do that. Right click on the uh, right click on the session and then goes to start. Or else you can start on the top of the environment. So you can see there's a start selection, stop selection, show session variables. We'll talk about the session variables later. Now what I'm going to do, I want to start. Now I'm going to select start over here and you can see the session is, has been started and completed also. Now you can, we have already seen over there the you know the alert boxes that what we got it now once again let me go ahead if you see over here or whatever the alerts that we are having we are going to get it the alerts over here now again what I'm going to do once again I'm going to start the pending session now I'm going to do start this one you can see there's the option called start let me go ahead and start it if you want to stop it so we don't have the much time over here that's the reason it is not going to be showing immediately. But still, we can see over here the alerts over here for the particular session. We will see, I'm going to drag practice session, practice for calculation stays on to my resource. Now we can see there's the practice for calculation stays, correct? Now what I'm going to do, there's the options called immediate stop and request stop. Immediate stop, let me go ahead and let me start it. And I'm going to right click once again. It is taking very less time to complete it. So that's the reason we can't stop it immediately. But the options that we're having, immediate stop. If you want to stop it immediately in between the process, then you can go ahead and you can stop it, that immediate stop by using immediate stop. If you want, if you are using multiple requests, let assume, let me drag multiple times my processes onto resources. Now you can see there's a lot of processes out there. Now I'm going to select all at a time and I can run all at a time. Okay, now they're in the completed state. If you want to stop it all at a time or else you know based on the request basis that you want to stop it, then you have to go for the request stop. You can see the this has been disabled due to less time. Okay, or, or else it has already completed. So that's the reason I'm going to show you over here on the, with the request stop. So on the back, back end, what it will happen, it will call ease process request method to stop in the safe request mode. That's the reason we are having immediate, uh, we are having request stop. In this session, we learned all the sections which we are having available process, available resources, and how to start manually a session, and how to stop a session. In the next session, we will discuss about the session variables. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to the topic, please post them in the comment section.